Hey everybody, I'm Glenn. And I'm Xander. And together we are Fun King 3D. You know, you could say that once in a while. So anyway, today's video is, uh, is about Hatchbox. Uh, I've been using Hatchbox pretty much since we got the printer. Uh, since we got our ANET printer, which has been uh, it's been a couple of months now, it's it's been over. It's probably 150 hours worth. Um, we don't use it exclusively. There's a couple other brands of filament that that we do use, and we'll do reviews on that next. But the the reason that I wanted to do the review tonight on on Hatchbox is because we just recently switched over to I don't know if you can see that PETG. Um, We'll just hold this box here so that everybody can see it. Um, I'm getting ready to do an upgrade on the A8 to the AM8, and I wanted to get the parts printed, but I wanted to print them out of out of uh, PETG instead of uh, PLA. I know that PLA would have been fine for most of the parts, but there are some parts that are near the hot parts, and we don't want to put P PLA near the hot parts. So. We've also used Hatchbox as PLA. In fact, if you look back there at the at the A8, all the bright yellow on there is is in fact Hatchbox, and it has printed beautifully. It's it's um, I don't know how I have the focus set on this if it's close or not, but uh, I guess it's a little further away. But it's uh, this is PLA. This is a PLA 20 millimeter. Uh, calibration cube and and it's it's stunning it really has um, performed very well it um, I don't know I haven't put it under any stress really we have a lot of parts that are built out of it that on the on the on the printer so I guess they do get some stress but you know dumb little stuff like this and, and toys and whatever oh well you know in fairness here, let's, uh, let's talk about this guy I've, I've shown this before and I'm gonna put the link back in the description because uh, because this was something off a of Thingiverse, and I got to tell you, it's uh, it's awesome. We use this for doing our our um, what's that called? Time lapse. It's been a long day today. Uh, we use it for holding the camera for doing our time lapse, and it's just really cool because it's fully adjustable. Now the base of this is actually AIO Robotics, but all of the yellow is Hatchbox, and um, and this is actually PLA, which you know I always do that. Because PLA has got a different sound to it, but and if you print more of those yellow parts, you can make a selfie stick. Yeah, he thinks it's a selfie stick, but um, <laughs> but yeah, PLA definitely has a different sound to it. But but I really thoroughly enjoy the Hatchbox. Um, probably the biggest complaint I have on it is that it's not always available. The uh, the demand is pretty high for it, and a lot of times Amazon runs out of stock. Uh, this is our technically our second box of PETG. The first one I ordered, they sent me red. That was a that was an Amazon hang up, not uh, not not to be held against Hatchbox. This did come in a vacuum sealed bag, but the bag had a hole in it, and I don't think that was Hatchbox's problem either. Because if you look at this box, there's a huge tear in the box from it. Just it was just this box. They stuck a label right to the top of it and shipped this, and. Uh, and I think from it getting slammed around, I think that's what opened the bag. Doesn't seem to be any effect. Got a couple of uh, PETG parts here, which definitely have a different a different sound. I, I like the sound of this sound. It's a little more Lego-ish. Legos are ABS, but um, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I have, I have those and, and I have these corner braces now printed out of PETG. Anybody out there that is printing PLA and they're like, oh, I want to print PETG, but I just don't know. That's how I felt. I was a little shaky about it. But you know what? It had to be done. These were all printed on the Prusa Mark IIs. And um, it did take a little bit of dialing in as far as temperature. We ended up at, uh, I'm running 245 degrees on the hot end. And um, I'm down to 50 degrees on the bed. I started at 90, which was Prusa's default. And I didn't like the way it was rippling. So I'm down to 50 degrees and I think I like it. So um, hats off to you, Hatchbox. Like your stuff, keep it up. Uh, make more so that I don't have to wait for stuff to be in stock. 
right? <laughs> um, and uh, if anything changes, if, if suddenly uh, I start hating Hatchbox, I will, uh, I will come back and update this video. But I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the way it turned out. It's a little stringy, but that's a PETG thing. It's not real bad. It's, it's, it's tolerable. Their uh, PLA is fantastic. It prints like butter. It, it, I mean, it's it just it lays down so smooth, and it's it's relatively durable. I, I've I've tested a few pieces, you know, just to see how it did. In fact, our our hot box project, which if you haven't seen that video, that video is on our channel as well. This is all Hatchbox PLA, and except uh, the buttons. Right, I meant the box. Yeah, we didn't print the buttons. Uh, we did print the Fun King, and that is Hatchbox PLA as well. So, good stuff, and uh, we like it, we like the PETG, and that's that's all I got. got. Anything? Click the like button, if you click this like, comment why you didn't like it. So if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, and if you want notifications, you gotta ring the bell. Um, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna leave us a thumbs down, it's fine, we'd appreciate a comment to go with that, because if you don't tell us what we're doing wrong, we can't fix it. Um, if it's just something that annoys you, we can't fix it if it doesn't annoy everybody else, though, because that would be terrible. But, you know, we still we still want the feedback. And uh, and we love all y'all that are following us and that have subscribed. Um, and as always, you're not going to do it? No, you do it. Print on.